So we're talking about the show about secondary like sexual predictive methods. Yes, a, a bit of a historical overview is that that when this whole started in the seventies, you had about fifty percent accuracy, and then in the eighties or seventies, you got maybe sixty percent, sixty five percent, maybe as best. And then it was quite a big, big breakthrough in the early nineties with the particular with the meta PhD. Then it was obtained over seventy percent, and now it has been proved to seventy six percent, and it's got probably getting close to eighty percent nowadays. So just uh, a short tell you what Gore show Feldman was the first method it was. And actually it was it is very um, it has looks at the properties of each amino acid and then it scans through a sequence and then assigns helical and sheet regions to these sequences. So it starts looking at it, it has a preference, so this you can have a preference without counting how frequency is it that a certain amino acid is in a certain secondary structure. So you have you can see that valine, for instance, are has a clear preference to be in uh, uh, beta area, 170. Uh, but unfortunately, the method that was developed was quite low. It was not even quite easy to implement the computer because it was really built on ad hoc rules. And never, I mean, it was used for a long time, but it, it was really not as good as initial thought.